Welcome back to Radio Entrepreneurs, everyone. My name is Jeffrey Davis. I am the host of Radio Entrepreneurs, and I'm also CEO of Mage LLC, a management consulting firm here in uh, Massachusetts. And uh, uh, every week we love to talk with uh, the fabulous Mark Z, president of Mark Z Legal Staffing, for our Mark Z moment. Welcome back, Mark. Jeff, great to be here as always, and uh, hope you're enjoying the beautiful weather we're having this summer. Hard not to enjoy this weather. You just want it to go on forever. I had, for, I had forgotten in the winter how nice the summers were. Correct. Correct. And I know you're a big summer person, a big outdoors person. So I love being outdoors. There's no doubt about it. And uh, the, sun, the sun and I are friends so far. Good. Good. So, Mark, what's up on our agenda as we go into the summer? The economy continues to just change consistently from week to week. Correct. So, Jeff, one of the big subjects that um, we're seeing sort of an underbelly but big current of are employers that are taking a step back and saying, what can we do to retain talent? What can we do to recruit talent, but mostly retain talent? Because during COVID and the real hiring spree, what a lot of employers were focused on new hires and they weren't focused on retention, keeping really good A employees, making sure they're happy so that not only will they be able to be productive, but they'll be stimulated, they'll be happy and even more successful with their company. It's, um, it's a formula that it just took a back seat. And so what employers are doing, even small companies, small firms um, in any industry, they're looking at ways that may not cost them a lot or they'll invest in um, situations that they'll see are very vital and important to employers and vital for the retention. So for example, um, I was recently at a doctor's office and I was inquiring about a particular doctor and how she was doing. And they said to me, oh, she's away for about six weeks. And I said, really, is everything okay? Um, now, I knew she had had about six months ago um, a baby. Um, so I assumed, so that was off the plate there. Um, and then I was hoping everything was okay. And they said, yes, no, we, we give bonding time. So um, not only um, was she able to take time off to have her baby, but now she's able to take six weeks off for bonding time. Oh, bonding. I was wondering bonding, if bonding, sorry, bonding with your baby time, but they call okay, it bonding. I was thinking of bonds. <laughs> right. They call it bonding. And that's something that in, you know, years ago, just having a longer um, period um, for maternity leave was valuable. And a lot of um, female employees at all levels were not getting that. And now employers are looking beyond that baseline, more not only the more days, but then, you know, what they what so what they did was they went back and a lot of their doctors are female doctors, and they went back and they said, What's important to you? And one of the things they said that the um, the employees said what's important is after maternity leave later, we don't really we go right to we go right to work and then we're dealing with being a new parent, we never have a chance to really spend key time and bond with our child. And so what they not only did is they've given bonding time to the female um, um, doctors or professionals, but also for the male ones equally. And so- You know, Mark, you, you, you bring up such a good subject and you, you know, you're making my mind wonder, not just bonding time for the parent, uh, Bonding time for grandparents, grandparents who help children with daycare. So they have flex time on daycare to help their grandchildren. I mean, I am going to file this week for my Mark Z bonding time. See if that gets approved. You know, <laughs> there's, there's a whole series of bonding times that we could put through that would make people say this employer cares a lot about me and is giving me something that another employer is not giving me. Correct. So what's happening is. Um, whether it's a small firm or company, a big firm company, a professional, an organization, 
they're listening to employees. They're having listening discussions. So that was what was important with this um, firm. Some of the smaller um, organizations that never had medical plans before are now investing in medical plans. Um, they're seeing people are leaving them because they need medical insurance. And they said, well, we'll give an allotment for medical, but that's not enough. Or what they're doing is they're giving more vacation. And, and a lot of, um, even though a lot of employees work still remotely, vacation is key, being having more time. Or sometimes the four-day work week. They're giving a four-day you know, work week. I remember when uh, we started Mage and my consulting firm, that was 1985. And I had come out of Johnson and Johnson and different Madison Avenue marketing firms. And uh, I was so much into productivity and managing productivity. And my partner used to say to me, Jeffrey, don't manage time, manage the output. You don't care where they are, what they do is. And for me at that time, it was so alien to everything I was doing, the timesheets I filled in every day, the, the weekly, daily timesheets and reports. And I was, I was thinking like, you can't run a business this way. And the more I realize the concept of self-management and building firms that are flatter, more responsible people, that is the way to work. It's the only way to work if you want to build a profitable, productive organization with right. a strong culture, as you point out. Right, right. It's just really important now to really focus on employees who you really want to hire them for a long-term opportunity, and then you want them to stay. One of the other issues, Jeff, is employers. I was with a partner of a, a major Boston firm last night, and we were talking about the problem a lot of um, firms are having. A lot of the senior partners want to work totally remote. We've earned it. We want to work totally remotely. Um, we were productive. But what happens, the younger attorneys coming up they don't want to be totally remote. Sure. If you want to they get want them, mentoring, they want mentoring. And right. so the firms are coming back to a lot of these partners and say, look, if you want to have that next generation, if you want to be invested, if you want to have um, that support in pr productivity, you're not going to have, um, you're not going to have that if you don't um, step in and be part of it. It well, doesn't I happen. I think the key overnight. is, I think the keys that you're saying, Mark, are manage the real outputs, understand your people are unique and show them that you care that they're unique and build programs around their uniqueness. And it's the survival of the adaptable, not the survival of the rigid, as a lot of people can be in business and in life. Uh, you know, if someone wants their Mark Z bonding time, how would they find you? Well, first of all, I'll always make space for you, Jeff. So that's that's there. Just let me know what works for you. But um, go to um, Mark, just Google Mark Z, M-A-R-C, and the letter Z and will come right up. Um, M-A-R-C-Z legal.com, Mark Z legal.com. And um, go on the Radio Entrepreneurs website. We're right there. Radio Entrepreneurs.com and 617-338-1300. And you know, the best news for me, you're going to be right here next week on Radio Entrepreneurs.